Hello guys, I am back with more IU. My last IU video got deleted, which is not the same as being blocked. When it's blocked, they let you keep your video. It's just that other people can see it. But my video was deleted off the internet and I didn't have a copy. So it's gone forever and it's kind of a bummer. But the saddest thing though is that you guys commented a lot of recommendations on that video. So today I'm gonna do what I want to do, which is listen to the love poem album for the first time. We're not gonna be listening to love poem and blooming because I have some reactions to those on on this channel. So let's go do the rest. Let's start. I feel like these songs are <laughs> have big shoes to fill considering how I feel about the other two songs. Finger picking. Who is this person we're talking about? Are you? Is this an older person? An older man? I am feeling things. I am feeling things. Oh my god, I love the lyrics to this song. Oh. Oh, we're starting strong. We are starting strong. <laughs> I don't know how you guys would describe the production. What genre would you assign to this song? I will. I would call this folk. Not only because of the simple instrumentation, the melody, um, but the story told. Like it felt like I was just walking into a bar, and she was just on a corner. <laughs> talking about the love she can't forget this is also the kind of song that i think not many people can pull off like her her whispery tone and her acting just shines in these songs where the lyrics are like the priority or the thing she wants to get across the most also i love the name the visitor like it's just someone that was a part of your life for a moment in time and now it's gone so he was just visiting right and it was so relatable how she kept wondering how he is now if you've seen him like let me know is he still the same oh. i think i i think i'm falling in love with this song <laughs> not a piano <laughs> We just had IU and a guitar. Do not give me IU and a piano. This is the most beautiful song I've ever heard. This is an anthem. This is not just a song. Ooh. This this right here with a live band yeah an orchestra yeah we're in ireland <laughs> what is going on what <laughs> just like that just like that we're here again I'm ascending. I'm actually ascending to heaven right now. Yeah. I'm gonna need a moment. I'm actually gonna need a moment right now. Six hours later. Maybe. Maybe this is one of the best songs I've ever heard. For me, my favorite songs are the ones that sort of like ignite something in me. Songs that make me feel things. And the things I felt while listening to the song, I I don't think I can I can describe it. And I think that that's what music is for, right? To sort of put a name on feelings that are too complicated you can't put a name on I loved 
love the lyrics i feel like that's something i'm gonna say <laughs> in all of these songs because i also know love poem and blooming and i also love those lyrics i think the lyrics were meant towards fans that's the impression that it gave me but i feel like it could also but i feel like it can also be applied to any type of relationship you have a relationship that persist above time how am i supposed to move on though <laughs> i'm gonna need another 50 minute break two thousand years later nah i ain't fucking around nah fuck this i'm out of here get that fire exit door i'm off We haven't talked about her vocals, but I mean, she sounds beautiful, but I'm, I'm a bit scared now. Are we dying? Is that what's going on? Are we in the dream or are we going to dream? Are we waking up? I'm actually relaxed after that. I don't know what she did, but it worked. You guys, I think it just dawn on me <laughs> the concept of the album because i knew it was called love poem but i was about to say like oh my god all of these songs about love <laughs> but it's true like there's songs about lost loves there's songs about new loves there's songs about unconditional love and the act of singing a lullaby to someone is an act of love you know i thought the song was called lullaby but it, it wouldn't actually be a lullaby but <laughs> this was actually a lullaby like it was a sweet mellow sounding song that talks about how much she wants you to go to sleep <laughs> and so far i feel like the album has been super cohesive in its sound which makes me makes me curious about blooming right like like I understand it's the title track, but how how does it fit how does it be here? I'm gonna have to listen to it actually to see how it sounds with the rest of the album. Because I know Love Poem actually fits here. So I'm gonna add one more. Okay, this is a little bit more upbeat, but still but still with the piano. But it's true. But it's so true, actually. <laughs> am I... Am I the lady? <laughs> this is for all my depressed people out there. Money. she's a comedian actually okay now i feel like we're setting blooming up you know, you know there i think this was mostly in the 2010s there were a lot of songs that were like just smile <laughs> and all your worries will go away be happy and i think my my heart goes towards these these kind of lyrics more like we're actually all sad we are we're actually all mad we all want to cry and life is kind of shitty instead of trying to push those feelings away it's more like it's okay it's actually pretty common to feel this way that's why she wrote a lullaby even if musically it doesn't fit perfectly with the album i I love this song and I'm gonna allow it to be here. And also after hearing about uh, about the time, I was like, this is a great album closure. Like, what is he doing here? But 
I think I understand the purpose of looming in this position in the track list because it's not only about a new love blooming it is also the only true upbeat song in this album and I think that if above the time would have been the album closer the feeling this alb this album leaves you with wouldn't have been the same it would have been m much more serious and somber even but with blooming it's more it's like a reminder that love is also fun and playful and something you can be excited about i think i'm learning a couple of lessons today i think i'm, I'm gonna come out and say it okay i think this is one of my favorite albums ever all the songs feel so personal so grand i feel like this album is important which is not something i can say for every album but what i mean is that she had a purpose while creating this album and these are the type of songs that also never go out of style because they have such strong identities by themselves without the context of the year it was released or who iu is even what is your favorite iu album leave it down in the comments please because i just I can't think of something better than this right now but if you tell me there is i'm gonna have to believe you <laughs> okay guys